I'm kind of curious now about my awareness of Richard Hamilton. I mean, it is work that I know from the late, say, early 70s. I was aware of pop. I mean, pop was the, you know, as a teenager growing up in, in Manchester. It was an aesthetic which I, you know, which I could understand. And so I would look at pop books. I read enough to kind of understand Richard Hamilton's place as perhaps the, you know, the, the godfather of, of pop. And, and I remember particularly in, in, in a book seeing Hamilton's definition of, of pop and the, the, the 10 or 11 kind of criteria, sexy, mass-produced, disposable, big business, glamorous. That made a, a very big impression upon me. This particular work by Hamilton, this is the toaster. It's, it's a screen print, litho print, has a, a, a foil. Um, applied. I knew it first probably round about 75. I saw it in a book in Manchester Polytechnic Graphics Department in the library and um, it was in a pop art book. It might have even been a Hamilton book, I don't know. I, I became aware what influence it had been on me a long time later, like 25 years later. I saw it that day and, and realised how much it had influenced my own work. What distinguished this for me from, from other pop art works was that um, I, didn't, I didn't see any irony in it. You know, I was, I was aware enough to realize, you know, when I was 20, that a lot of the American pop art had, had this degree of irony. Um, and I didn't sense that in this piece. Um, I sensed it more as a as, a, as a, an acknowledgement, an acknowledgement through fine art of the applied arts. And I sensed that Hamilton was, in a way, acknowledging the, the design quality of, of Dieter Rams's original, um, the, the toaster itself, and in a way celebrating that as an everyday object that that was kind of fulfilling the, the principles, the, the idealism of, uh, of modernism in, in a real everyday functional item. And, and then it was the presentation of that in the kind of context of a, of a catalogue with a, with a text that was very much the text you'd find in a, in a product catalogue. And, and I believe this is actually, the text is very much a kind of a um, little bit of artistic working with, with the original product text. And so it was product design and it was obviously photography and it was typography and it was in a way the kind of graphic, the graphic work. This use of foil here, I mean this day when I saw it in 2000, I was, I was shocked, I was shocked for myself. I mean it's so much like the use of materials that, that that, that I attempted at, at Factory Records. It's exactly the kind of thing I, I would have attempted to do on a, on a poster for Factory. And the, the, the whole kind of sensibility of it. I was shocked when I saw it in 2000. Because I... It's kind of like a blueprint for my own work. <laughs>